This is Beach Bum's Garage and in this video we talk about these two trucks and how to win. Alright, so now that we've got everything painted what we're doing is coming in and chipping off some of the paint. Making it look like this one here. And we've got this one here that we just got through painting. And we've got water. And then we've got um, just a brush here. And what you do is you just brush it on and rub it real good. And it brings that acrylic paint right up. And depending on the amount of weathering you want and the amount of rust you want, uh, depends on how much water and how much pressure you use and, and depending on the type of brush you're using and all that you can get different results um, This is just what I'm doing for this particular build here Then I can take a um, paper towel and back dry it off and get, see where you're at, make sure you're getting the look you're after. And we're kind of there on the top anyway. Can move around to the back. And I want to make these look kind of the same. Um, so I'm looking at this one over here while I'm working on this one because this one I went off the pictures and got it as close as I could get it to the, to the real one. Um, and there is going to be some other weathering and stuff coming along here on this build. This is not merely the end of it. Now if you're trying to leave, um, one thing I did figure out that if you're trying to leave it to where it looks kind of like this right here, you don't want to wipe it with, uh, um, with paper towel because um, that's going to bring more of it off. And what I do is I just blot it and then it leaves. What you want there because it will bring off more of this paint when you start rubbing it and i'll show you um here on this door um, because it does not have any paint on it whatsoever and i will show you how that works here especially when you put a lot of water down on it get it to come up real easy now I want to tell you what I was talking about if you wipe it with the paper towel if you wipe it it just brings more of it off which is good for this but might not be so good for back here we we're trying to make it look weathered and rusted rest it up through the paint I mean you know you know what I'm saying right hope so anyway hmm. all right maybe work on the inside a little bit the inside doesn't need a lot but you still hit it a little bit just to make it look uniform all right so I kind of forgot that I was recording this series of videos here but I skipped ahead a few, um, as you can see, um, it's coming out like here. Right now we have um, we have some iron paint around our seams here, um, where it's been um, make it look like it's been welded there for the chop. And now we're going to be coming back in and adding some stuff that's going to activate that and make it look rusty like it's actual rust on it so what I'm using to do that with is this modern masters um, iron oxidizing iron paint um, 
it works really well I've used it before and this is uh the activator that you get with it now I have heard of people using vinegar and stuff like that to activate it I've just never tried it um, I have done a sample of this stuff to give you an idea um, that's what you come up with right there but I'm not doing a whole panel like that um, just simply because I stuck to the way I know with this build as far as weathering goes but I am doing my seams around there like I showed you um, and now all we got to do is add, um, add some activator in there in it and we'll probably just use a, a normal brush uh, we'll probably go with just something like this little feller here brush it on there good you gotta make sure you get every part that you batted that paint on here to make it rust and get it inside of here because we did put some inside there too. 